Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new floor plan to show you. This is the 2022 Surveyor Legend by Forest River, model 19 MBLE. This particular trailer is extremely similar to the ultra popular 19 RBLE. The difference is gonna be that it has a Murphy bed. So, uh, I'll put a link down in the description below to our video on a 19 RBLE. That way you can check both of them out. This particular trailer comes in at just over 3,850 pounds unloaded and is gonna be about 23 and a half feet in overall length. And pardon any road noise, we are right next to Interstate 40 and the wind's coming out of the north today. So we're gonna have to deal with a little bit of road noise, but we're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour, go over some of the awesome features and a couple of uh, new changes for 2022 on these small single axle surveyors. Let's go ahead now, jump onto the inside and start with the living area. So starting off in the living area, you can see that you do have a nice booth dinette area. Now this will turn into an extra sleeping space. And one of the things that I really like is all of these big windows. This thing has lots of great window coverage. Now it does lack a little bit on your campsite and I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, one of the things that I personally would like to see different is I wish this window here would open. Uh, it's a nice big picture window, but it would be great again if that opened. Now we're seeing this here today in the morning fog interior decor. Um, now you're seeing some carpet in the slide out. Surveyors are going to be getting rid of the carpet. This one was just before that change was made. So uh, that is a really neat option uh, that, that'll be coming down the pipeline. I really like that uh, dinette light there too. That's just a really neat feature. Now this one, as I said previously, does have the Murphy bed. So you do have a sofa up here as well. Yeah, you can see that you have really good side stands on each side with some cup holders. Um, and I'll show you how this Murphy bed operates here in just a minute. Uh, you can also see down there you have household and USB outlets on the left side of the bed. Or the sofa. Now this one is kind of awkward for entertainment. Um, that is on a swing arm mount, that TV. TVs are optional. Um, it's really best suited, I think, for the dinette. But, uh, like I said, it is on a swing arm mount. Surveyors have standard a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Now, in their small little single axle 19 series and some of their 20 uh, foot series, the uh, AC is not ducted. But you'll notice, however, that there are no ceiling controls. This is a thermostatically controlled air conditioner. It doesn't have just the ceiling controls. That costs a little bit more money, but it is gonna give you uh, more control over your air conditioning system. Now you can see they're using dual rows of LED lights. This has a nice, light, bright interior uh, with some dark accents. You can also see that you do have the amber light above the slide out there which is a really neat touch i like that it's not blue or white it's just something different you're gonna have a digital thermostat over here and as you can see it is 35 in here so it is really chilly today over here you are gonna have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. That'll control the interior and exterior speakers. And as you can see, it does have HDMI and USB ports. So I really like that. You can also see you've got the uh, wood plank flooring. Uh, it's still a vinyl, just like everything else. Uh, and pardon the snow, I'll get that swept out. Um, but as you can see, you just have tons of space in here. But with that being said, let me go ahead and I wanna show you how this Murphy bed operates. Because I tell you, this is by far one of the easiest Murphy bed systems to use. Okay guys, so as we come over here, again, I wanna show you how this Murphy bed operates. 
So first thing you, you'll do is you have a jackknife sofa here. So what you'll do is you'll lift up from the front and then pull out towards you. So it'll lay down kind of like so. And one of the neat things about this Murphy bed is it is a 60 by 80 inch Murphy bed. Now it is an east-west. To finish deploying this, you'll have this bullet latch over here. All you do is pull towards the center of the camper. That releases it. And then the bed will just pull down like so. Now again, this is a 60 by 80 True Queen. So you can actually get sheets that will fit this. Now this is a bendy bed, uh, which means it has to fold in the center to be able to work correctly. And I'm okay with that since this is such a short camper. They needed to save every inch of length that they could for other things like a good kitchen and a, a good uh, you know living area. And again, it is an east-west bed, so you sleep across the trailer instead of down the length of the trailer. Uh, some people don't like that. The one downside is whoever's on the inside has to climb over the other person if they have to get up in the middle of the night. Now, to put this away, all you do is grab it with two hands, lift up, and it will latch just like so. You don't have to do anything to the other side. It's just the positive spring-loaded latch over here. And then to get the jackknife so far, you do is lift up at the front. When you get to about 90 degrees, pull forward on the back. So like I said, it is a super simple and easy to use Murphy bed. I really like it. So let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the storage. And I tell you, for a small camper, this has got some great storage. So starting off above the Murphy bed, you do have these nice open cubbies here. You are going to have the cargo netting. I know some people don't like that, but any storage is better than no storage. And, you know, it, it like I said, any storage is better than none. Oh, and I always forget these. Underneath the sofa, you ha are going to have two full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers perfect for more like some dresser space and then you'll have a cubby hole uh, over there with again more of that cargo netting now all of this is all of your countertops i guess i should say are a pressed membrane countertop you are going to have the flip up countertop extension there to give you a little bit more prep space Three full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers, convection oven microwave too, which is nice. Plus you got the bottle opener right there. One basin stainless steel sink with a high rise pull out, or nope, 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 nope. High rise sprayer faucet, there we go. It is not pull out. And then over here, you are gonna have a two burner cooktop. Now, real quick, since we're here, I do want to go over MSRP. So MSRP on this is going to be $40,038.50. So uh, that is MSRP. That's not what we're selling it for. Um, we do have a pretty good discount on this, but I can't tell you what it is because these videos live forever. You've got your hood range up top with a light and a fan. Nice overhead storage and notice it's strut supported all of your cabinetry in a surveyor is pocket screwed cabinetry which is nice um, i'm a little bit biased towards the surveyor just because i own one at home uh, i have a 2010 surveyor at home it is a fifth wheel but pretty much the same construction and everything as this now if we drop down here you can see you do have an electrical outlet in the kitchen little window and notice it does open you're gonna have all your control panels right here, uh, including for the Wi-Fi uh, extender thing, whatever you wanna call it. You got your slide out on and controls, light switches, and then the controller for the 80 watt go power solar panel that is on the roof. As we make our way back a little bit, you're probably wondering, where is my pantry space? And as you can see right here, you have a very good, generously sized pantry. So great storage there. Your furnace is gonna be down underneath there. So it is a direct vent furnace. It is not ducted. And then over here, you are gonna have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge by Norcold. 
these are faster cooling and they are travel safe because they don't use propane. So they'll run off your pickups charge line or the solar panel or 110 power. As long as your breaker box has power, this fridge will work. So really, really neat refrigerator. Um, I really like those. And then last but certainly not least, you do have your easy access dinette storage. So the one thing that I'm gonna be critical on here is I wish that would open without having to take the cushions off. Um, actually two things. And I wish they still had the door here. I get it, this is cool, but I don't always wanna take the dinette apart to be able to get to the storage. I think they could have left the doors there um, and also done this. And both sides will have the same thing. So there's one last place that we need to talk about, and it's arguably the most important since all RVs are is rolling porta potties. So let's go ahead now, jump back to the bathroom, take a look at that. So as we step back into the bathroom, one of the things I really wanna to touch on is little things like this. So as we open the door here, you have this stop that will keep this door from slamming into your nice stainless steel refrigerator. So as we come into the bathroom, you do have a medicine cabinet with toothbrush holders built into the bottom, backsplash in here, which is a nice touch. You're also gonna have a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop, nice big sink. You're also gonna have your uh, tank monitoring panel with your water pump and water heater controls there. Good storage underneath there, underneath the sink there. And let me go ahead and shut that. The toilet area is a little tight, but it is a porcelain flush lever toilet. So if you're a little bit wider in the hips, you may uh, find that that is a little bit too tight for you, but uh, it is as good, I think, as they could get. Nice big linen cabinet here. Um, again, this one is a little awkward because it doesn't have a true hanging closet space. Nice mirrors, you get to look at my goofy face in the mirror. You're also going to have an electrical outlet right there. If we look up top here, past the robe hooks or towel hooks, you do have a power vent fan, so you can see that right there. Skylight up top over there, and then you've got the nice big shower surround right here. Uh, notice it's not a travel trailer tub. And you do have the slow close shower door right there. So with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 2022 Surveyor Model 19 MBLE. Let's go ahead now, jump onto the outside, and we'll take a look at some of the features there. So we're back on the outside of the 2022 Surveyor Model 19 MBLE. Again, pardon any highway noise. You've got a nice fiberglass exterior with the front windshield. Power tongue jack is standard. You're going to have the leash clip or safety chain hook there, single 20 pound propane tank, battery disconnected rails for your battery, and then you'll have a seven way plug holder on the other side there. Four corner stabilizer jacks, they are manual. In here you have three quarter uh, storage with the uh, motion sensor light. You can also see that you do have aluminum framing for your bed bases, and this is an all aluminum cage construction with double sided welding on all of your uh, aluminum frames. Slam latch baggage door up here. If we step back here a little bit, you can see you have a nice sized power awning, about as big as they could get on there. It does have LED light strip uh, up in the middle there, or underneath. And then you can see you do have two outside speakers with blue lights in, the, in them, and then an amber porch light in there as well. Larger entry assist handle, friction hinge entry door, and a triple step, more ride step above step. Single axle with the black aluminum wheel. Right here, this little rail is for a outside griddle and prep table that comes with the unit. Surveyor is also using the Asdell composite panels. Those are a green material made out of recycled pot bottles that are impervious to mold, mildew, and water damage. 
they also have more insulation value than the aluminum or the uh, the Luon uh, panels that the competition uses, and they have uh, twice the amount of insulation and are lighter weight. Now, I think I said something of that twice, but um, sometimes I just get to rambling. Propane quick connect down there. You're also going to have satellite and cable and 110 power out here. You've got an extra storage compartment underneath the bathroom linen cabinet. There is that Suburban Elite Series griddle. All these have the magnetic holdbacks, all LED tail and marker lights, which is a very nice feature. Ladder up to the fully walkable roof where that 80 watt solar panel is. We will not be climbing up there today since it is kind of icy. Rear backup camera prep square tubular bumper and with your spare tire and spare tire carrier server does do a laminated rear wall and laminated slide in uh, panels and if you want to go take a look at surveyor uh, you can go to their facebook instagram and youtube for more information and and uh, to submit your owner photos Right over here, you're going to have your furnace exhaust and intake, 30 amp service. You've got your black tank flush and your cable and satellite hookups. Nice placement on the gray and black tank and notice how it's tucked up. If we look up underneath here for a single axle, this does have a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which is really nice. Um, there's not very many single axle campers that do that. You can also see you are prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers. I don't recommend those, but if you want to add one, you can. And then up here, you're going to have your city water right there and your fresh tank fill, as well as your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. So, all right, guys. That is going to wrap it up for the 2022 Surveyor Legend by Forest River, model 19 MBLE. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like pricing and availability, I will post a link to our website in the description below where you can check that anytime without having to call anybody if you don't want to. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 if you want to talk to a real human being. Or you can send us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees, and we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. Real quick, before you head out, if you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. That really helps us. And if you're new to the channel, you can, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That'll keep you up to date with all of our new content, such as this brand new floor plan from Surveyor. All right, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and have a wonderful rest of your day.